fuck we give? Oh my god, it is so freaking hot in here. Goal number one for 2019, not to die of heat exhaustion. That would be ideal. Hi guys, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sitting down and filming my first video of 2019, which is so surreal. I thought what better way to kick off my videos for the new year than to share with you some of my goals for 2019. Hopefully this will inspire or like motivate some of you guys. Um, and kind of selfishly, I'm hoping it will like hold me accountable. The fact that I'm sharing these goals with like potentially thousands of people is like putting the pressure on me. So I'm really hoping I can kick all of these goals and uh, just have a great year. Live my best life as per usual. And yeah, I'm gonna get straight into this. These are in no particular order, by the way. I literally just went through every aspect of my life, like work, uni, YouTube. Also, some of these goals might seem very broad and not very specific, but underneath I've kind of like specified and written down like smaller, more achievable goals. That's what really helps me. And that's like my number one tip is to break down your overall goal into like smaller, more achievable goals. That way it's measurable and you have like an outline, just different steps you need to take to reach that overall goal and you can stay focused and motivated most importantly. So my first goal of 2019 is to read 25 books. I can do it. I know I can. Um, 25 books is like one book every two weeks. Uh, I just haven't really made it a priority, especially in like the last few years with uni and whatnot. So I'd really like to make it a focus in 2019. I just feel so many benefits from it. Like not only does it help me relax, but also just creatively and especially with my writing, like the more I read, the better I write. And obviously writing is a huge part of my degree. So if I can improve on that, then that is incredible. We're already off to a great start. I just started reading Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. I picked this up on New Year's Eve because I knew this was a goal of mine. And and uh, yeah, we're like 100 pages in, so we're going strong. And if you guys have any book recommendations, let me know, because I have 24 more books to read this year. My next goal, and this one is very broad, is to choose health. I love how this is worded and I can take absolutely no credit for it. I was watching um, Beck's 2019 goal video, which I'll have linked down below. She worded it like this and I was like, yes, that is spot on. That is what I want to do. I don't really have like a specific weight goal or like fitness level I want to be at. I just want to choose health and make health a priority in my life. Whether that's like choosing the healthy option or making time to exercise, like whatever it may be. I just want to choose a healthy lifestyle, especially after Christmas because Boy, oh boy, I ate a lot of food and a lot of chocolate. My third goal for 2019 is to learn to drive. Yes, I'm 22 years old and I still don't know how to drive. <laughs> I get a lot of questions about this actually, not only like in my regular day-to-day -day life, but also from you guys. I think people expect me to have like some crazy crash story that's like scarred me for life. I actually have no fear of driving. It honestly just boils down to procrastination at this point. Long story short, when I was 16, I didn't really feel ready to drive. I just felt a little too young, a little too immature. So I didn't set my L's test till I was 17, almost 18. And by that point I moved to Canada and I lived in downtown Toronto, which doesn't require driving. If anything, driving a car is like a burden. Rush hour traffic is no joke. Also the drivers there are some of the worst I've seen, like literally near death experiences multiple times. I was scared as a passenger, let alone learning to drive there. Also they drive on the wrong side of the road and different side of the car. I just had no desire to learn to drive for the, like the two and a half, three years that I was living in Canada. And I had no reason to, like I got around on public transport fine and I still do, but I just know that I'd have a lot more freedom and just flexibility if I learned to drive. So that is my goal for this year. I have been home in Australia for like a year, over a year. Um, so I really should have learned to drive during this time, but like I said, I'm lazy. <laughs> My next goal is to travel, which is pretty broad. And again, I've broken it down into smaller goals. One being book a trip to Singapore. Nick and I were talking about going overseas together. And although we'd love to do like a huge Europe trip or like travel around America, that's just not really financially possible right now, nor do we really have the time. So I think we've decided on Singapore instead. I actually went when I was 16 with my family, um, but I'd love to go back again as an adult and with Nick, obviously. Also, I'd love to go on some kind of domestic trip. I'm not sure where exactly um, or who with, maybe just by myself, but I would love to go and visit like Melbourne or Sydney, Brisbane, maybe, I don't know. My next goal is to save my money, which actually kind of contradicts the last one. I really want to save my money. I have a specific amount, which I won't share with you guys, but yeah, I just love saving money and like seeing my bank account grow is a great feeling and I'd really like to uh, yeah just build up my savings and to do that one of my smaller goals is to eat out less that's like my biggest expense is just eating out and as much as I love it I know that I don't need to do it all the time my next goal is work related and that is to find a new job 
or progress in the company I'm with now, which I actually started to do towards the end of last year. And there's definitely potential for me to grow within the company. Um, it's just, I don't know, I just don't want to get complacent. I feel like the job I have now doesn't really challenge me as much as it used to, probably because I've been there since I was like 16 or 17 years old. It's like the very first job I've had. And although I've been and gone and worked at other places and then come back, it's still familiar. Like it, nothing has really changed. Um, and so yeah, I'd really like to challenge myself, whether it's a new position within the company or just like an entirely different job. Um, we'll see. As far as uni goes, I literally have one goal and one goal only, and that is to pass all my topics. I'm not going to be super ambitious with this and say, oh, excel in every class. Like, I'm just being realistic. I have a lot of other stuff going on, and if I could pass all topics, that would be incredible. And then my last goal for this year is YouTube related, and that is to upload consistently. This is probably the biggest thing I struggle with. I do actually have a subscriber goal that I would like to obtain, but I realize that that shouldn't be my focus. There's no way I could reach that subscriber goal in 2019 if I don't upload consistently. So I'm trying to focus on being consistent, uploading at least once a week, if not two or three times a week. Consistency is key in life, but especially on YouTube. So um, yeah, I'd really like to make that a priority in my life. Even when I'm busy, even when I have a million other things going on and I'm working like 30 hours a week and I have like a million assignments to do, I still want to find time to make this happen. So yeah, those are all my goals for 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know what some of your goals are for the new year. I'm super curious. And maybe I'll see a comment that will spark something within me and I'll be like, oh, I didn't even think of that. I feel like I covered most bases, but maybe I missed something. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. All my links to my socials are down below. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.